Hi guys, welcome to match number two between the Boogeyman on the German team from USA, the number eight seed up against Brigham on the USA team from USA, the number nine seed. So both of them are good friends. And we see an interesting start here from Boogeyman with the bike, motorcycle and the assault squad. Hmm, interesting. Not of good value in my opinion because of the 60 MP it costs. But uh, let's see how it goes. Boogeyman not opting for a three-way split. Seems like he's going a two-way split. But I'm um, going to make it a very good two-way split. A very powerful one with the center supported with the bike. And showing him the ability to capture the center maybe. I don't think it's that great in, in my opinion. Because of the riverway. He can still go down this way here. But lucky Brigham has actually gone this way. So the bike can do something. MG42 is probably better on this map in my opinion. Being able to put on that... Um, that hill over there. Oh, wow, this is uh, looking quite hard to see. You've got the the sun glaring behind me, and it's the dark. Very um, so it's night time here in um, Shelt at the moment, and it's hard to see what's going on. As Rifleman looks like a regular squad, and Eastern side looks like he gets the position quicker. Boogeyman was a bit slow to get there, but here comes the majority. It's more forces. Get a grenade off, maybe. And if he gets this off, he, may, he has the flag. Oh, what the? Oh, the, never mind that. He doesn't need the grenade. That SMG. That, this guy took the blast for his mate there. He must have. <laughs> very, very chivalrous. As over here, Boogeyman gets to the flag over on the left hand side of the western and takes out Brigham's forces. One, two, three. Three dead Americans, I see. Um, they like to put their, their left arm up when they die, it seems. Left arm's like. For America, maybe they're saluting or just looking at, again. Left arm up when dying. See, why don't they make models with the right arm up dying? Maybe that's the only model. And let's have a look at here. There's either that or the starfish death. And that. Oh, this is the fetal position death. No, it was the protection of his mate. And over here. Okay, never mind. This is, is maybe a few different types of deaths. Starfish again. I want to just you know, be, take a look at all these deaths here. That's another starfish. So, sorry guys, just having a bit of fun at the moment. But nice push out rig MG coming up. Forward. Oh, what happened there? So that's a... Ah, that's a hands up in front of the head position. So it looks like they have a lot of uh, death uh, animations, in fact. Death uh, different ones, so I'm quite impressed with that. Never noticed that. Till just now. A uh, shotgun is coming here from Mr. Brigham, as you do in the, is the USA. But Bri Boogeyman looking strong here, capping the majority of flags kind of infested this area a bit. With this flag looking shaky. One guy there, but reinforcing straight away. Nice one there. He definitely needs that push there. Instead of coming down here, might be a good idea to reinforce the flag. Fair enough. But center looks quite weak with Brigham pushing in. He's going to try to route out the position a bit. Motorcycle is damaged, but it can still be manned. Oh no. Oh, there goes the box. And BR still there. Over here. Assault squad here. Trying to flank, but the MG is doing a decent position. Decent uh, job, I mean. Shotgunners versus a part of an assault squad. Take one out. Second one. Wow, look at that. Two guys cleanly killed with that. But the weight, or the numbers there, overwhelmed those two shotgunners trying to assault that flag. So center. Maybe a potential push for Boogie, but not now with the M20 coming here. Should be able to clean up. And we'll clean up. Boogie man. These guys are definitely hiding behind it. It's not a very good piece of cover there. They probably know they're doomed very soon. As a I think a 222 is out by now. It's over here. And it's definitely gonna be running into Oh no, it's just a bit scared of getting flanked. But it can run to the M20 right now to take it out. It's got the range. Ooh, crew injured. One more shot. There it goes. Got to be careful though. Brigham might be getting that M20 gun, 50 cal out of the vehicle and using it. So if that 222 charges down there, it can penetrate that 222. It's center in danger now with the 222 there. Ooh, ooh. Wow, that was really close. Look at that. Nice. Very lucky there by Boogie. Uh, infestation over here as well by Brigham. Very, very nice. It's going to force Boogie to throw a grenade for Micro. Could lead at the start though. And 222 still 
doing the damage. Um, the Soul Squads probably need to move a bit more faster. Get the cap quickly, get the line of sight ASAP, get the 222 firing non stop. There's nice uh, infestation going on from Brick Camp. Here they come. Here comes the assault. Oh, one go around to the face. Oh, nicely angled grenade. And the USA troops are almost routed out. One more guy left. Mr. Rifleman on its own. I don't think Boogie Man has anything underneath there. Maybe he does. Looks like he doesn't. And Boogie Man has secured the river way. Oh, no, he hasn't. There's one guy over there. Okay, there's a guy in the river. A full weight of an assault squad coming up to the center. Western side still not approached. Eastern flag now may be the target of Boogeyman, which it should be. It's coming away. What's it doing? Hmm, playing a bit, very, a bit too safe at the moment. Might be scared of the Stuart, but in fact, uh, M380 gun was the counter, not the Stuart. So it looks like he went the safe bet, or the slower counter as you can see. M380 gun is not very good to chase down a 2 to 2 that goes flag to flag. Uh, one person asked me a question why people don't buy AT guns. That's the reason. It won't be able to chase down this 2 to 2 if it goes here and the 2 2 can just run away. The maps are quite wide for that. Depending on the map. Bo uh, bike now is man once again. And it's going to be sent to the fray if it can pass this barrier. The pathfinding is uh, a lot less. Uh, there's a lot left to be desired about. Uh, be careful with a 2 2 the M20 with the 50 cal still being able to shoot at 2 2 2. Let's see what happens. Line of sight's coming a bit slow. Wow, what that was a strange turn there. Just pounding away, 12 to 7. This is Boogeyman's uh, choice of the map, by the way. And looks like he's got it. Don't think there's much left coming except for the center. Looks like a big wave and a Stuart counter. Standard counter for the. Oh! No, it actually fell on its front, so it's okay. Boogeyman should just get the hell out of there and come here and take out everything over here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it's my block by that hay. You get two guys in there. That hay surprisingly has good kinetic energy stopping ability. It's manned again. 2 2 in action. And it's run away. Lucky. 3 cap is almost on, but not anymore. But 2 2 now can cause devastation right here. Don't worry about that, Stuart. Oh no, you should have just stayed there and killed all these troops while that Stuart was being repaired. Because over here it's got nothing to shoot at. That's alright. Boogeyman was just wanted to get out of there. He was just, just said, shit, the Stuart's coming. The Stuart's coming, gotta get out. He's scared of the Stuart, that's no doubt. But at least he's got a secure center with all these units here and 2 to 2 behind a nice position, behind a house there, waiting to ambush any troop coming. Bike in the center, right, plonk down in the middle of the bridge, interesting. Um, doing a decent job right now. Let's have a look at this bike model. Very shiny. Brigham needs to come down with a Stuart quickly. As soon as it's repaired. I see some sort of spawn coming. Another vehicle of some sort. Big man reinforcing with the... Wow, Panzer Grenadiers. That's a big buy. Maybe should have got the Brandenburgers. I haven't seen the Brandenburgers out. They're out. Instead of the Panzer Grenadiers, should have went the Brandenburgers maybe. Because here comes a croc. At least the Brandenburgers or the Panzer... Brandenburgers do have a Panzerfaust, but they don't have the stealth. So, a bit harder to sneak up on the croc. And they're going to... not sure what side. Looks like they're going to the right-hand side for some reason. 222 can fight these two vehicles at close range. Maybe if you just move your 222 right here... Oh no, this is going to be disastrous. 222, fire! Oh no, that could have been an easy kill, but... Oh wow, AT Grenade. Look at the power of the AT Grenade in this version. 
That was horrific. That Stuart should have died. Oh, another one. Oh, wow. The 80 grenade hit here and it killed it. The other one hit direct hit, didn't kill it. That's not very, very good. Uh, but there goes 2 2. Bit of a clumsy maneuver there, but uh, here it comes. The croc is coming. Panzer Grenadiers, hoping for a flank. Panzer, Panzer Faust and Brandenburgers would have been ideal right now. So let's see what these Grenadiers can do. Looks like one of them has the Faust. Hunting that croc. Maybe not the best route to go by. Let's see, maybe there's no one here. If there's no one here, there is one guy here. Oh no, he's looking the other way now. You can see, clicking on a unit for uni players. You can see where they're looking. This guy is looking at down there. So this guy may get it. Oh no, but these guys are definitely going to walk past him. Let's have a look. Buckshot to the back. Panzer going to do it. Unconscious. Bang. Dead. So risky place to come by. Should have came down here maybe. Grenadiers in a grenade war. They're holding the center with the weight of the cap. With the Panzer Grenadiers. Definitely can hold the weight. But a bit of a wasted troop down the center. It does have a lot of grenades, which is a good thing, but you do want to use their shooting abilities to their maximum potential. Standard counter here. No, it's a G. It's not a standard counter. It's a possible counter. 3 to 7. Brigham is looking okay now. This is going to be a deal breaker here. Let's see what happens. Misses. Croc hasn't shot yet. Misses. Nicely angled there, by the way, from Brigham. But wow, that's he's trying to hit the bottom of the croc, but hmm, oh. bit of blunders there by Boogeyman, choosing the Panzer Grenadier squad when the Brandenburgers are out, and it makes it harder to take at the croc. Um, Panzer Faust guy was trying to sneak behind it. I guess it's a fair play. Didn't know the shotguns were coming. The G was a risky call as well, and trying to shoot too low there, but oh. There's still chances. Where is that 18th infantry? It's too dark. Oh, there it is. Very nice. Okay. So, Panzer Shrek takes it out. Well done to Boogeyman. And still in it to win it. Thing is with Boogeyman, that G gave, is going to give him payback. Special points. Croc. Losing Croc doesn't give you payback. As the Martyr is out. Martyr 3. Hmm. Not that useful right now without tanks being on the field, but I guess it uh, will have its use. Boogeyman still has the option to just stream down this hill and fight the center that way by just swarming guys through here and holding this riverway just by grenades if he wants to. As Boogeyman here coming to the left of the center. Meet a full assault squad of boogies. Like uh, Brigham will definitely win that firefight out there with the uh, M1 Garands and the Thompsons being a bit better. As he comes the 2 2 2. Oh, always seems to miss the right, uh, <laughs> the right moments to shoot. Oh, here it comes. Oh, and Brigham just tries a bit too hard to just charge here. As the 2 2 has done maximum damage right now to a lot of units. Well, Sniper as well, so Sniper was there too. Very nice. Uh, Chaffee. Chaffee coming. Decent counter. Let's see what it can do. Should definitely take out the 2 2 quickly. Priority target. Misses. Maybe a track here from Boogeyman. Oh, but the Martyr there. Nice. Okay. So another turnaround now. <laughs> really losing a lot of units in, in su succession here. The Croc is being repaired though. 2 2 2 still on the field to do damage. A lot of units here potentially to be potentially to be killed. Stops the repair there. Pesky guy down the bottom, still trying to grenade. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. The water does absorb a lot of the explosion. Another one over here. Throwing it back. These guys are doing a very good job. <coughs> but still being outcapped. Oh, KO 98 takes out the M1 Garanda. Oh, sorry, excuse me, just not feeling too well. As here comes the croc on the eastern side. Mind is still on the field there. Nice angling though. Side a bit too much though. S the side's a bit too much exposed. Ooh, hit the exact angle there, which is not good. Should definitely hit that side armor right there. Oh no, no, the front's exposed now. It's now it's in a good angle. Oh, straight. It's straight. Perfectly straight. Oh, can you get can you get out of range? You got out of range without dying. Wow, Boogeyman is being getting quite lucky at the moment. And takes the croc out. Hull damage red. Means it can't be repaired. So not having any luck whatsoever now. Boogeyman is dominating in kills. <laughs> that was a bit of a whatever moment. That uh, Marta did block a lot of shots there. Uh, a bit of bad luck there from Brigham, I must say. And... This is Brigham's last chance, basically, in the tournament. He's fighting for his life to stay in here. And his good friend Boogeyman may be the one to just take him out. But this sneaky guy, the Assault Lord Leader kind, is stopping the cap. And giving a lifeline to, to Mr. Brigham. But really, all those tanks Brigham lost, the croc again. They're special points, he won't get anything back in payback. And finally, that Assault Squad Leader has perished. So, <coughs> Brigham now doesn't have much on the field, I don't think. Stuart now coming down this lane here. Decent play. Stuart will be working well in this area here because it's all close quarters combat. If you can cap this flag with the Stuart. He'll be in decent stead. Tito 2 looks like he's going to go back to safety. So I think it's going to be quite a long game if Boogeyman doesn't pressure a bit more because I think this Stuart will be able to force a breakthrough on the western side. MP wise, Boogeyman won't be doing too well in my opinion. But definitely not out of the game yet. So got the western. Flags are going to be ticking towards him. I'd say Boogeyman doesn't have enough CP to buy more infantry. Tank destroyers do have a high CP count um, as well. 25 if I'm not mistaken. Oh, wow. Where did that guy come from? Over here. Takes out the Stuart. Poor Brigham here. Licking his wounds now. Look at that. 186 score to 90. This is the kill count guys, so for those who you don't know. Uh, that's not the flag point score. The flag point score will enable you victory. The score, that's just showing you how much damage you've done to the enemy. As the martyr's dead as well. I'm missing, sorry guys, I've been so slack this game. I'm just really tired. But I've lost the martyr kill. Where is that martyr? I'm trying to find where it died. Over here. So it looks like this guy here, Mr. Marine, came from all the way up here, came down here, right over here, and threw a grenade on the martyr. Well done to Brigham too. So return the favor there. 2-2-2 two 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 though, is the king of the field now. And should be able to route out those marines very easily. Because there's no Stuart. Could have been a different game altogether if that Stuart was alive. And that martyr dead, the Stuart would have been king on the field. And this flag will be forever in Boogie's Boogie's occupation for a long time. <laughs> Crucial moments like that. You just don't want to lose your vehicle like that Stuart. But here comes another one or something. M19 I think it was. I saw the sil silhouette of it. Let's see. That's the engine of an M19. So I can hear the purr. M19 coming. Let's 
So both of them going the big infantry killer. P3. M19 killer. M19. Can be a P3 killer. Depending on the range. Let's have a look. 2 2 2. Can be an M19 killer as well. Depending on the range once again. Oh, it's. Oh, it's tracked on the wrong place. It's frontal. Nicely angled. M19 won't have a chance to penetrate that. Can it get out of there? Can it get out of there is the question. If it can get out of there. Oh no, if it can get out of there, come back here and then kill it from the side. Oh, it's crew injured for eternity it seems. Hull pierced as well. There it goes. It's dead. It's dead maybe. Can he get in there? No, Titi is going to stop that. And maybe Boogie can even steal this. Let's see. Maybe Boogie wants to steal this. Definitely potentially potential to be stilled, to be stolen. Wow, look at all the Brigham's troops. It's getting slaughtered by that 222. I think that's it. I think all the Brigham's troops are dead. So really, um, Boogeyman is extending the lead of kills. Self-destruct initiated. He knows he can't get back into it. Boogeyman's straight on it though. Oh, this could be disaster. The M19 will hold this flag very well. Stort here. Oh, Hull pierced. Oh, can this M19 turn? Can this M19 turn? No. So Stuart's doing well. So, wow, this is quite interesting here. Oh! <laughs> Bad mistake there. The Stuart didn't end up finishing it off. M19's taken it out. And looks like this flag will be ticking towards... Boogie if he gets a unit in there for some reason. Oh, turret damage. So, he's still got some units in here. Swapped again. What's he doing? Is that uh, Boogeyman? Yeah, it's Boogeyman. Okay. So, majority of flags again. T slow death here from Brigham, it seems, but really uh, doing well to stop Boogeyman from capping um, the three cap. And from capping the flags, in fact. I'd say his assault's gonna the his assault power is gonna be waning a bit. See a little lull here, it's just like one of the, the skirmish modes in single player or single player game where you're waiting for a wave. Basically the time is finished and the wave is gonna come in another three, four minutes. Brigham hasn't got as depleted his uh, army at this stage. Boogeyman's has time to breathe now. He can Pull down his socks, take off his pants, play in his underwear, and have a drink. Because right now, nothing's coming. Brigham has exhausted a lot of his resources. And Brigham has pushed all the way here. Decent play. Should try to maybe even push the spawn now. I hear a tank. It's another croc, if I'm not mistaken. Or was it a Sherman? It's just a normal Sherman. Okay. Still can be king on the field with the P3 on the field, out. But Boogeyman can quite easily replace it, I dare say. So really locking down, this, these guys here, locking down the right and the center by spotting. Very nice move. It's going to be very hard for Mr. Brigham to actually assault those two flags. I'd probably go for the the Western flag if I was Brigham. I don't know actually. It's just very hard right now. Boogeyman's got troops in very good positions of ambush. I'd say maybe this flag actually is quite good with infantry. If we can get some infantry there. P3 misses. Oh, Sherman is badly angled. Oh, lucky there. It's actually angled a bit funny with the side there. But uh, nevertheless, the Sherman standard counter for the three has taken the shot. Nearly a flank there by Boogie, but loses three guys. Wow, look at those Fausts on the floor. I'd say that's a H. No, it's a Stug. Okay, haven't seen this play since Shutter in round one. Stug, controvers controversial unit. 550 MP, 80 armor, quite, quite tough.
for the price. Tank destroys, no good though, in one versus ones, but I'd say this tank is quite OP maybe in team games. But it'll do quite well now, let's have a look. I'm playing a bit safe, Boogie. I dare say you can go closer. Yep, easy penetration. A few more shots. Main gun tapage! <laughs> that is bad luck. Back it goes to get repaired. And giving Brigham a bit of reprieve here. He can storm the troops in without with the tank support. I hope it's being repaired. Wow, another track damage from M19. Wow, can this M19 take it out? Can this M19 take it out? No, it can't. Turret, still got a shot. Main gun, hasn't got a shot. So Boogeyman is staying in still. He's got the guy in the riverway, so he's holding the flag still. Oh, nice shot there. Priority target. Sherman took out the sniper. This dug or should be repaired shortly. As Brigham is capping the center. Running straight in though, up that uh, riverway. Good fighting spirit by this Brigham guy. This is his last chance, by the way. Boogeyman won the first match in this best out of three series. And here comes the... Stuck. Main gun. And there it goes. So, let's see. I don't think Brigham's quick middle cap here. It's very short-lived. Um, let's say Boogeyman has a lot of reinforcements to come. Ooh, nope. No flank there. Having trouble damaging it. It's a nasty MG on that. 360 rotational MG. wonder how hard is it to actually shoot that MG. It's from a telescope. Look at it. There's actually no guy looking. He's looking underneath the tank. That must be weird to control. But very stable, I must say, with that metal bracket. Look at it go. Pretty cool. It's funny, it's got some uh, plates on the side too. Looks pretty awesome. So there it goes. Explosion from something. Boogeyman forces Brigham out. I dare say, where's Bri Brigham's reinforcements? Maybe not many left. Fighting for his life here. Waiting for the next wave of an assault. If I was Brigham, definitely ignore the tanks right now. But there's a lot of a lot of units here being repaired by Boogie. So if these gets repaired, it's pretty much... I don't think Brigham will have a chance with all those units on the field. Pretty much one tank per... one vehicle tank per... per flag. <laughs> we'll leave Boogie with Brigham no options on what flag to attack. Infantry only, I can only hear footsteps. They're coming... right, maybe. It's a quite convincing game from Boogie, just capping the majority and killing the majority all throughout the game. What the? What was that? What the hell was that? Okay, I think that was just a message. Some sort of sinking message. But uh, never, it's a slow, long game, but he never really was in, in the game um, for a long while. Alright, here it is. F finally <laughs> has an M enough MP for an assault squad. And is coming by to do something. But I don't know if he's, he's probably just given up right now. He's in a... He's just... 
No. There are... They're coming, but... Uh... Okay, requesting Steam Workshop information. Why would it do that in the middle of the game? I don't know. Here comes the P3. And there goes the GG from Brigham. So, why don't the boogie looking quite strong here? Downing Brigham. Quite easy. And he's out of the tournament now. This is uh, a sad day for the Americans. Boogeyman is through now to fight Demon Heart from New Zealand. Should be an epic game, most definitely. Boogeyman, the versatile thinker and an analytical player, up against Demon Heart, the skillful uh, player with Marco, but not very good at tanks and uh, has a problem with his his rage limiter. It just blows open too much. Um, should be a good game nevertheless, but here it goes. Grenades. Oh, shot there. Nice one by the Panzer Grenadier. So, it's a good game. Sorry. <laughs> oh, it's exhausted. Um, didn't sleep well. But um, hopefully, um, yeah, the games get, get underway. It seems like we're moving along quite well with the games. Constantini, Battle Ace, lower bracket round two to be completed. And then also we can see um, Greek 393 and Hansi fight off as well round three, which should be good. And I'll be giving away, by the way, for you guys to uh, listen to the end, giving away a Men of War AS2 copy, um, most likely at the end of the tournament, with a quiz. So keep up with the knowledge of the games, and you may be in luck for those guys who don't have AS2 yet. So GG.